Far Cry has been recently unbanned from the Ubers tier to the OE tier in Gen 9 with the release of the Indigo Disc DLC. While at first Darkrai seemed a very manageable Pokemon that was not even considered broken, it has recently shown how broken it can be and has sparked a new conversation around potentially banning the sleep mechanic, which is something that hasn't happened since Gen 5. Even with its massive nerf to Dark Void, Hypnosis has proven to be enough for Darkrai. So what makes Darkrai so good and why might sleep get banned as a whole? But should it even be banned? Let's discuss about that. So as you may know, sleep has been brought up again as a controversial mechanic that might get banned. Now it was banned in Gen 5 and if you don't know why, it's basically because the sleep mechanic in Gen 5 sucks. Or so, yeah, they, they still suck. If you switch out, your sleep counter resets, which is of course, you know, basically puts you down into a 5v6 scenario if your, pro if your Pokemon does get slapped. You can stay in, your or your opponent just takes advantage of you staying in, and if you switch out, you're down a Pokemon. Simple as that, so sleep is not really balanced in Gen 5. Now in Gen 7 and Gen 8, for example, sleep is not even very good, because you know, we had Pokemon like Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko's electric terrain blocks, blocks sleep. If you're on the ground, you cannot be slept. Same goes for Tapu Fini, but Tapu Fini also blocks any other status condition. So we had Pokemon like this with terrains that basically made sleep um, not that great of a status. We even had Pokemon like Ferrothorn, right? Uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn was a very common grass type. And, you know, since Gen 6, uh, Pokemon that are grass types cannot be slept by powder moves. And I would say that Sleep Power and Spore are the best sleep moves in the game. So sleeping, sleep was not that big of a deal back in the generations because there was a lot of tools to deal with it. But you know, we don't have these Pokemon anymore. And we now have more Pokemon that are, uh, you know, threats that have sleep moves. I would say what really makes sleep so good in this generation is having a fast Pokemon that can take advantage of it. And that has proven to be the case. I want to talk about the sleep abuse in this generation. So, of course, we have Amoongus. We had that for a while. It can be blocked by Golden Go as well, which Golden Go just shuts down Amoongus. However, we have seen Red Card as a very common item to not only... Uh, you know, get rid of a threat in front of you, but also to get something random switching in and take the spore you might not expect. Uh, you know, we have uh, Iron Valiant, which has been popular sometime with Hypnosis right now, instead of like Encore, for example. With Hypnosis, you can, you know, you beat any check to it and set up free Calm Minds or Swords Dance. You have a lot of Ninetales, which was could just shut down other uh, leads and still get the free screens and we have some other more niche options on some teams most notably Venusaur which is probably the best out of these three Pokemon right here of course with Chlorophyll it basically outspeeds anything in the metagame uh, sleep power can put something to sleep and can just set up free growths however like I said it's a niche Pokemon and Darkrai which I would say is the most problematic Pokemon with uh, Hypnosis right now it does sometimes run hypnosis. A very common set we have seen is a Focus Sash lead set. Now I want to talk about this set uh, a little more. A lead set might, might some, look something like this. You have a Focus Sash, Hypnosis, Nest Spell, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast. However, it's very customizable, which I think is part of the problem. With Darkrai, uh, it can basically just be both of the metagame, get off an hypnosis, and you know, it's 60%, which is low, not great accuracy. However, it's still in favor of the user, right? So technically you're still in a favorable position. You have a better shot at hitting the move than your opponent has at dodging it. And if you do miss, you will, you will get off another hypnosis because you have that focus sash. And when you do get something to sleep, that's what makes this Pokemon a menace to switch into. Uh, you know, because you have bad dreams, which will do significant chip damage to any uh, counter or check to this Pokemon and its coverage is very difficult to deal with. For example, you might switch in your King Gambit into the Darkrai, it does hit Hypnosis, you not only get the chip damage, but maybe it has Focus Blast, now you're dead. Well, you could say, oh, you can scout that out. The Darkrai is gaining so much value just by you scouting those moves out, that's already annoying. The, you know, this is, I, like I said, it's customizable. You can run Ice Beam, you can hit stuff like Glyscore for a lot of damage. You don't even have to run Nasty Plot 
you can run sludge bomb in this slot for example hit fairy types like Le fable that might try to check uh, dark cry by switching in and it can beat most of its checks and counters with uh, you know it can beat what it wanted what it wants to beat with the coverage it has and by hypnosis by hitting hypnosis and getting the chip damage with bad dreams i don't think sleep as a whole mechanic is broken you could either ban if you really want to ban sleep you can ban hypnosis because this move is problematic on both iron valiant and dark Cry, which i think are the main users uh, of sleep being so problematic because they are fast offensive threats uh, both run hypnosis you, so you could ban hypnosis however you could also argue that hypnosis is not broken on other pokemon so i could see the argument for that or you have to suspect dark Cry. However, without Hypnos, I don't think Darkrai is anywhere near broken. So it's a tough situation you have. However, I think, I think banning the whole mechanic is not the solution. What really makes this controversy as, you know, as bad as it is with Hypnosis is I think it's, it's luck based. Now, of course, a landing the Hypnos and touching the Hypnos is already a luck based mechanic of its own. Uh, the sleep counter is luck based. You don't know whether you wake up in one turn or three turns. And Iron Valiant and Darkrai can use those opportunities to deal damage or set up respectively. And the last thing is, you don't know if these Pokemon are carrying it. They are both so versatile. They don't need Hypnosis to do their job, but it can be helpful. So you might expect an Hypnosis to come out, maybe switch to a certain check that can... Of start, switch to a Pokemon that can take the Hypnosis to have that put to sleep and switch back to your main check but maybe they didn't have hypnosis and now they just set up with nasty plot or sword stance or calm mind maybe they deal massive damage to anything switching in there's basically a lot of uh, uncertainty around uh, facing these pokemon what i also want to say is that banning sleep is gonna cause a massive ripple effect on other look based mechanics that i you know why not ban those as well if you're gonna ban sleep for those reasons i mean for example paralysis is luck based you know having a one in four chance of your pokemon randomly not moving is quite luck based critical hits four percent chance of you losing the game outright is very luck based freeze having that random 10 percent chance of just shutting down your whole pokemon also a very luck based mechanic that can just flip entire games so that's gonna cause a ripple effect on those mechanics as well I also want to get your attention on a team with the Hypnosis Focus as Darkrai said that reached number one on the ladder, peaked at uh, ELO 2085. This is basically the whole team right here, an offensively oriented team. But Darkrai just functions so well as a lead with Focus Sash. It's very difficult to switch. I have had my fair share of games playing against this where I cannot really do a lot against it. So those are my thoughts about the whole sleep situation and it really shows how powerful this mechanic can be let me know your thoughts about the sleep mechanic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time